Barrie, Vermont has a unique history like no other place in the United States, and at the heart of it lies the old labor hall. During the late 18th and 19th century, immigrants were pouring in from across the world. One immigrant group had a profound impact on Barrie, and they were the Italians. The Italians were very skilled carvers who worked with stone. They not only brought their artistic skills, but also their political ideas and culture. While in Italy, Italians were heavily involved in politics, and as a result, they brought their political activism with them. In 1900, a group of volunteers in the Italian community built the labor hall as a place for political gatherings, which eventually transformed into a community center. The socialist labor hall soon became famous for its political stance throughout the country. Some political labor activists that have been rumored to have visited the hall were communist Ann Burlock Timpson, also known as the Red Flame, socialist member of the Industrial Workers of the World, IWW Eugene Debs, and President of the American Federation of Labor, AFL, Samuel Gompers. During this time, the Socialist Labor Party was the biggest radical political group in all of America. Because of its radical nature, the Labor Hall was also a place where violence occurred between the Socialists and the Anarchists. The famous stonecutter Eli Cordy got shot at the Labor Hall in 1903 during a dispute. From 1900 to 1936, the Labor Hall held the offices and meetings of the Granite Cutters International Association, which at the time was the largest local union of granite workers in the country. In 1901, a cooperative store was created in the basement to support the local Italian community. It contained a soda manufacturer, a bakery, a laundromat, as well as an upstairs that contained a local fruit and vegetable market. The labor hall was also a place for the community to gather. It held many dances, plays, concerts, and family gatherings. The Washington Fruit Company purchased the labor hall in 1936 and converted it into a warehouse. They later changed the name into the Packed Meal Company. It was very productive until the early 1990s when the company went bankrupt. The labor hall then sat vacant for a couple years before being brought by the Historical Society in 1995. Because of its history, they wanted to restore it. The Labor Hall is a landmark on the National Historic Registry. It holds historical significance both locally and nationally for its famous labor activities and its role in the Socialist Labor Party as well as the cooperative store. Despite the Labor Hall's struggles among the years, such as flooding and financial heartache, the Labor Hall still survives in an essential gathering place for the Barry community.